Welcome everybody, this is Microsoft 365 feature demo show uh, where we talk about a lot of the different features in the Microsoft 365 um, and we typically have a feature PMs actually showcasing what is available uh, for you to take advantage um, and this time we're talking about the hero web part capabilities within a SharePoint. Uh, with me here is Tina Chen. Uh, Tina, will you do the quick intros who you are and what is your role within this feature? All right. Hi, everyone. Tina's here. Yeah, I'm currently uh, a senior PM at ODSP Experience Team, and I'm working on a lot of features like the beautiful, for the beautiful pages and also some AI features as well. So I'm really happy to be here and introduce the new layout for the Hero. Yeah. For the hero now let's actually recap that before we go to the live demo i said we talk about the hero web part but hero web part has existed for quite a long time for sharepoint so so what is new what are we going to see today yeah i think a lot of people has been asking like to because usually the hero and also the banner those are the web parts we use as the top title region so thinking about like if we can have a slideshow uh like uh, white part and it's going to make your uh, page looks more stunning and get more attention whenever the visitors uh, start to looking at your page. Yep, sounds really good. So we're talking about new layouts and new options and configuration uh, within the Hero web part. And of course, by the way, for anybody who's already using Hero web part within their SharePoint pages, all of a sudden, poof, magically, these capabilities will be available there. So you don't have to re install the web part back, it back uh, on the page. Uh, it will just have new options available, which is really, really cool. But let's actually jump to the live demo. I think it's easier to see, uh, really focus on, on what it is um, and see the new options available from there. So Tina, take it away. Yeah, sure. So uh, as we all know, the Chinese New Year is happening right now. So today I'm going to uh, create a cool demo for using the Hero Carousel layout uh, and talking about the Chinese Lunar New Year. Yeah, so here we already start to add a hero web part on the page. And by default, uh, the carousel shows up here. So let's get started. Yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is to add a picture about the new year. Yeah, I like this little uh, Latin one. Yeah, and let me input some uh, topic for that. That's actually really cool. There's a lot of kind of a small polished settings for each and individual slide as well there. So that's actually a lot of options. Really, really cool. Yeah. Actually, this is the new thing. Like previously, we, we have the uh, we have the tiles and layers, but now like all of them are managed by the new slide thing. So yeah. which is really one of the improvements we get. Yeah. Uh, and here we also have like different, besides of the three layouts here, we also introduce three different styles to the new carousel layout. Uh, yeah. As you can see here, we have the image overlay, we have the text block, and also we have the split. Uh, which one you prefer? <laughs> yeah. And let's do the image overlay is definitely my favorite from this. Uh, so image overlay the first time. Okay, yes. cool. Yeah, and also we can change the alignment here as well. Yeah, let's do yeah. this one. Uh, yeah, you can also add a link or just leave as it is. So I will leave this one as it is. All right, and uh, for the next one, I'm gonna add a new slide here. And yeah, let's pick another image. Completely random side comment. I love the stock images. It's a, it's a surprisingly good set of images there um, to to get started. So awesome to have those. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think from this one, let's try to use the different uh, styles. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one looks nice though. Yeah, yeah. and also. I can even add a link to here. Uh, OK. 
And let me add a new one. Yeah, I can also add a slide from the content pane as well. So yeah. let's go back to Excellent. slide three. You know, like usually the Chinese New Year is for the family gatherings. So I'm going to also have a family photo here. Excellent. Family always first. Yeah. Time for reunion here. Yeah. All right, so now we already have three of the slides. And you know, one of the key feature I really love is the autoplay. So we will also uh, showcase that when we're in the view mode. So for now, as you can see from the structure wise, we have three slides. And also like if you uh, add a blank slide and you want to delete it, it's also super easy to do that and also I can drag and drop to change the order yep uh, let's make this one the first yeah and uh, go back to this one I want to use a different layout a different style uh, and come to the center maybe okay And also this shall work well to tiles and layers, which are the previous existing layouts. Let's yep. see how that looks like. Yeah. So you can yeah. easily flip between the, that's actually really nice. So it doesn't kind of a reset the settings. So now if you go back on the carousel, it has the same settings and you can flip between the different yeah. layouts. Yeah, and really also cool. it looks nice. Yep. Yeah. It does. And also, by the way, if you have uh, like existing tiles or layers, uh, we won't automatically automatically convert that into carousel style. So uh, you Perfect. still have the control of your yes. existing page. Yeah. So uh, let's take a look. If I click on save and close. Yeah, so for now, like your leap per slide is gonna uh, 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 keep like 3.5 seconds on that one. And if you want to look de uh, look into the details, you can just click on pause and then you can also check manually. You can either click on the little arrow button here or you can just click on the next one. Cool, really cool, awesome yeah. stuff. Definitely highly needed feature or highly requested feature by customers. I think the, the carousel feature has been there for a uh, request for a long time, right? Yeah, exactly. Cool. I, I guess um, that's about the demo. So let's talk about bit about like typically we do in the shows. Uh, what about the feature? What's what's uh, now we have done introduced another layout for Hero. Are we going to have more layouts? Is this is it. What about other stuff? Uh, yeah, so speaking of the items on the roadmap, uh, we're going to support uh, sending this into email. Because for now, yes. like for the uh, overall, the hero is not supported by email yet, but we will soon work on that one. And also, we will make sure the hero also support in Amplify. So yes. those are all the on the roadmap for the hero web part. And also, uh, speaking of the upcoming features, actually, we have a really productive uh, quarter, so there are more to come. Uh, yeah, uh, I just uh, demonstrate like how to add uh, a, an image, but like also, you know, we can add a link to this as well. So yes. here I've got the link of uh, our next upcoming feature which is the editorial card. So I just simply add a link of that page here. And you know, like by design, it's gonna pre-populate like the title from that page and also including the link here. So yes. yeah. 
then that's almost like well that's how the hero has worked in the past as well and that works with the with the uh, with the new model as well so that's really good um, because i think hero has always picked up the picture from the link uh, where it's being pointed on so it's good to say that that's definitely yeah. supported on that and also, as well. yeah and also like we can including the video to the carousel as well cool really good cool yeah. awesome Awesome, awesome stuff. This is really, really cool. I'm super excited to see uh, all of things available. And like you said, Tina, there's so many other features. Uh, it's going to be a super, super exciting quarter. Uh, we're rolling out a lot of other features uh, to create beautiful SharePoint portals. Yeah, like uh, we'd like to hear the feedback from uh, all the authors and also the communities. So please let us know your feedback and comments. Thank you. And, and definitely, like Tina was saying, please, please, please add comments, uh, add feedback, uh, ideas. Uh, we are building all of the software and services for you as our customers and partners. So we did definitely need to know what you want, uh, and then we can address those requests. Uh, but thank you, Tina, joining on this show. Really, really cool to have you here again and looking forward on the next episode. Yeah. See you next time soon, Visa. Bye. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.